Hello, everyone. My name is Yusuf al garhi and this is the video for the addition session we did a few days ago. So, what is addition? Addition is the combination of two numbers. So here, for example, we have the number six, one, two, three, four, five, six, and we want to add it to three, one, two, three. To start off, this plus sign right here is the addition symbol. And this equal sign right here shows what the two combinations will be after they're combined. So six plus three combined equals one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, which means six plus three equals nine. So here is the same thing, but with cherries. Here we have five cherries, one, two, three, four, five. And we want to add it to two cherries, one, two. Five plus two equals seven. But does it make any difference if we set, switch up the five and the two to make it two plus five? No, it does not make any difference. The answer will always be seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Two plus five equals seven, and five plus two equals seven. Here we have um, a picture of an ancient calculator called the Abacus. This was used in ancient Egypt, ancient Greece, and a bunch of other places around the world. All right. So all adding is, is just counting up all of the objects that you see. You have one, two orange balloons, and one, two, three, four, five blue balloons. If you want to add them, all you have to do is count all of them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So two plus five equals seven. Here we have squares. We have one, two, three, four, five blue boxes or squares, and one, two red boxes or squares. So to add them, we just count them together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So five plus two equals seven. All right, now we're gonna talk about adding with a number line. So adding with a number line is very simple. Here we have a number line and we have the equation four plus three. So to add four plus three on a number line, first let's find four on the number line. Here's four. So let's go over here and we want to add three. Okay, so what we want to do is we want to jump forward three times. So we want to go one, two, three. So four plus three equals seven. All right, so we don't have to use number lines only counting by ones. We can use number lines counting by tens, fifties, a hundreds, thousands, anything. Just try not to make it too big. So here's an example of us using a number line counting by tens. We have zero, ten. 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, so on. And we have the equation 20 plus 50. So let's find 50 on the number line. Here it is. And we want to add 20. So since we're counting by tens and two tens equals 20, we'll just jump forward two times. So from 50, we go to 60 and 70. So 20 plus 50 equals 70. All right, so now we have adding with a number grid. So adding with a number grid is not really as complicated, but it's still a little bit hard for newer people. So here we have the equation 56 plus 26. So let's find 56 on the number grid. All right, so here's 56. And the number grid is made up of 10 rows and 10 columns, all leading up to the number 100. So here we have 56 and we want to add 26. So instead of adding 26, we're going to add, we're going to break it down to 20 and 6. Okay. So here we have 56 plus 20. All right. So since it has 10 rows, we can jump down two times and that'll be like adding 20. So 56, 66, 76. And now we want to add 6. So we just jump to the right 76, 77, 78, 79. 80, 81, 82. So 56 plus 26 equals 82. 
addition facts. All right. So here we have addition facts for 10 because the answer always equals 10. 0 plus 10 equals 10. 1 plus 9 equals 10. 2 plus 8 equals 10. 3 plus 7 equals 10. 4 plus 6 equals 10. 5 plus 5 equals 10. 6 plus 4 equals 10. 7 plus 3 equals 10. 8 plus 2 equals 10. 9 plus 1 equals 10. 10 plus 0 equals 10. All right. Now we have addition facts for the multiplication table for 2. These are, this is called this because the answer is always combined and doubled. So 1 plus 1 equals 2. 2 plus 2 equals 4. 3 plus 3 equals 6. 4 plus 4 equals 8. 5 plus 5 equals 10. 6 plus 6 equals 12. 7 plus 7 equals 14. 8 plus 8 equals 16. 9 plus 9 equals 18. 10 plus 10 equals 20. All right, so here we have 1 plus 1. So this is the same number. We add it, and it equals 2. So it's doubled. And as you may notice, 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, they're all odd numbers. But even when you add them together, they add up to an even number. And these problems, these are going to be on the homework. So I'm not going to answer these. All right, now we have partitioning for addition. So let's add 47 and 35. So we have the equation 47 plus 35, and we want to know what it equals. So what we could do is break it down. We could break it down to 40 plus 30 and 7 plus 5. So 40 plus 30 equals 70. 7 plus 5 equals 12. And then all you'd have to do at this point is just add those two together. So 70 plus 12 equals 82. So 47 plus 35 equals 82. All right, so now we're going to partition using multiples of 10. So we have 80 plus 54. Okay, so let's break down 54 and make it 50 plus 4 because it still adds up to the same thing. So let's add 80 plus 50, which is 130. And then add 130 to 4, which is 134. So 80 plus 54 is 134. All right, now we have expanded column addition. So here we have the equation 385 plus 157. All right, so what we start off by doing is adding 5 and 7. 5 plus 7 equals 12. So we just write 12 down here. All right. Now we're gonna add eight plus five, but since this is in the tenths place, it's not actually eight plus five, it's 80 plus 50. So 80 plus 50 is 130, all right? Now we're gonna add three plus one, but it's not actually three plus one, it's 300 plus 100, which equals 400. So all of those together equals 542. So 12 plus 130 plus 400 equals 542. So 385 plus 157 equals 542. All right, now we're going to do column addition. So now we have the equation 4,368, and we want to add it 2,795. So we can write it down, all right? And we're going to start off by adding 8 plus 5. 8 plus 5 is 13. All right, so we're going to take the 13, we're going to drop down the 3, and we're going to carry the 1. Okay, so this is called the carrying process. All right, so now we have 6 plus 9. Okay, so 6 plus 9, and the, but before we do that, we're going to add the 1 to the 6 to make it 7. So now we have 7 plus 9, which equals 16. All right, so now we're going to drop down the six and take the one and put it on top of the three. So afterwards, we'd have three plus seven. But since the three has a one over it, we'd add one to it and make it four plus seven. All right, so now we'd have 11. So we drop down one and we take the one and put it above the four. So this four turns into a five. So now we have five plus two, which just equals seven. So now we have 4,368 plus 2,795 equals 7,163. 
All right, so now we're gonna add decimals, okay? So here we have 38.92 plus 5.89. So let's start off by adding nine plus two. Nine plus two equals 11, all right? So we're gonna put one down and we're gonna take the other one and put it on top of the nine. So that makes it a 10. So now we have 10 plus eight. 10 plus eight is 18. So we're gonna drop down the eight, take the one and put it above the other eight. Now we have nine plus five. Nine plus five is 14. So we're gonna drop down the four and take the one and put it over the three. Now we just have three plus one, which is four. So we're just gonna drop it down. So the final answer would be 38.92 plus 5.89 equals 44.81. All right. So thank you very much for listening in today. Um, I hope you guys really learned something new and um, I'll see you guys all next time. Goodbye.